Hi everyone, Angela here. Today I want to talk to you a little bit more about the difference between passive learning and active learning. I mentioned it before, but I want to explain a little more. Active learning and passive learning are two different approaches to language learning. Passive learning refers to the acquiring of information through exposure and repetition, such as listening to audio recordings or watching television shows. This approach refers to receiving information rather than participating in the learning process. On the other hand, active learning refers to the process of actively engaging with the material and participating in the learning process. This may include speaking, writing, reading, and problem-solving exercises. Active learning puts the learner in charge of their own learning and helps them retain the information better. The importance of active learning can be broken down into the following three reasons. Number one, improved retention. When you actively engage with the material, you are more likely to retain it. Number two, increased motivation. When you're actively involved in your learning, you're more likely to be motivated and interested in the material. Number three, better transfer of learning. When you actively participate in the learning process, you're more likely to be able to apply the information you've learned to real life situations. I hope this clears up the difference between active and passive learning. I know that it's harder to do and there's more shyness to overcome and it takes confidence, but it's really, really crucial. So I hope everyone can enjoy some form of active learning when they're practicing English. Thank you for watching everyone and I'll see you next time.